Let me find an example that really tests us uh, our understanding of vector diagrams. So what you have here is a particle traveling with speed collide with a stationary particle. Now this is great because if you are stationary, you your momentum is zero. Thank thank you particle. I don't too many terms. Okay, so no no momentum. So initial momentum really is due to m u and that's pretty much it. Okay. Then the velocity of two particles after collision, ping, bang, boom, something happened. One fly up, one fly down. Great. What do we have to find? Oh, look at this. Which vector diagram correctly shows the momenta before and after collision? Now, what is this? How do you even start finding this? Maybe we stay calm and think of what does conservation of momentum means in the first place. So if you, okay, think carefully first. Conservation of momentum says... The total initial momentum equals to the total final momentum. And this is a 2D question. Things can go up, down, left, right. So we want to remind ourselves that these are really vectors. And momentum vectors are conserved. So the very first thing we can do is think about the equation. Initial momentum, there's only one, one arrow here. Okay, so I'm going to draw, I guess I'll draw over it. Initial momentum. Okay, final momentum, uh, it could be something along this line plus this line. So if I expand that equation up there, that will be initial. Okay, there's only one initial momentum. Initial momentum equals to the first one plus the second one, and these are all arrows. So what that means is, I could call this my green arrow, number one, green arrow, number two okay and i add them together so how to add ah? remember remember vectors from once upon a time we can take this first arrow plus the second arrow eh, arrange tip to tail right add together vectors you arrange them tip to tail then this should equal to the initial momentum which should be something like this oh man my arrows are a bit off but uh, you get the idea something like this so the resultant is there. Okay, this initial is the... After you add together these two, it should equal to this one. Now let's look at the, the choices that we have. Ooh, the triangle is the other way around. Okay, okay, we try the other way. Maybe... Okay, okay, we redo. We play a bit. Huh? This one down first. Then this one up. Ah. That equals to this. Can we do that? I think we can do that. Alright, let me let me throw this back here and redraw the whole thing again. So we got an idea that all these arrows are really momentum vectors. Okay, let's try to draw it in the way that the question down there wants. So, we have the first horizontal one. This momentum vector will be M times U. That's the initial. The initial, don't forget, equals to the addition of the other two. So let's draw the... One that goes down. So something like this. This will be mu over 2. Mass times velocity. Then the last one. Something like this. Oh man. Give me some straight lines. There we go. And this one will be big mu over 3. So from here, I'm going to already go down and see which one I can cancel out. mu. Okay, mu is on top. mu2, mu3. Alright, a and b look good. MU2, MU3. Oh, why are the arrows pointing in the other way? Why are the arrows pointing in the other way? Nope. Arrow directions are wrong. No. So let's left with A and B. What's the difference between A and B? Oh, the angle. This one is alpha, beta. This one is beta, alpha. Uh, which one is which? Ah? Okay, okay. We think carefully. So if you want to make alpha, beta, how to find the angle? Ah? Maybe I need to extend a bit. Okay, let's extend a bit. Angle between green and the horizontal is alpha. Oh, which means this one here is alpha. That's an important clue. How about the light green? If I extend backwards a little bit, just so I can draw the other angle, this one here is going to be beta. So the angle between green and horizontal, oh, actually, I don't need to extend. It's already beta. Ah, yeah, here already beta. Okay, lah. Can. This is somewhat like a parallelogram method also. We can extend backwards. 
So now all we need to do is find which answer gives us this triangle to represent the conservation of momentum in this entire system. So I think the best choice here would be beta alpha. B would be the best choice here instead of A because the angle is wrong. Angles wrong. Kind of swap the angles here. <laughs> need to exchange them. So, okay, remember, uh, you can solve momentum questions because they're vectors. Just need to know what plus what equals to what. And that all comes from the conservation of momentum idea right up there. All right. So that's all for this question. Hope that was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.